Okay, uh, welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together. We slam and we knock on different door fells. We learn, we laugh, sometimes we even cry, but most importantly, we have fun while dorking out on some doors. Um, today, we have two very special guests um, from just uh, across the river from my town. Uh, for those who don't know, I live in Portland, Oregon, but uh, Mike and Pat from Harry's Locksmith is in Vancouver, Washington, which a lot of people just call Northern Portland, right? Well, kind of extension for sure. I think <laughs> in Vancouver they don't say that because they don't want to be associated. <laughs> they, they don't want to be associated with uh, the weird side of Portland. They're, they're they, the cool side of Portland, you know? Yeah. They're, right, uh, we're, a whole, we're a whole other state. Uh, welcome, Mike and Pat. Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about uh, what Harry's does. Well, uh, I'm Patrick Krabowski. Uh, I'm with Harry's Locksmith Service um, and have been there for over 20 years. Um, over 25? Could be. I'm not good at math. Uh, <laughs> anyway, right. uh, this is my brother and my partner, Mike. Partner and business, business, business partners, business partners, yes. business partners. Um, anyway, so uh, yes, we've been doing the locksmith business for quite some time now. Uh, we do a lot of uh, electronic access, door repair, door replacements, those type of things. Uh, basically, if it's on a door or part of a door or a door, we're gonna repair it, replace it. It's kind of what we do. And and I can say that you guys are being. Uh being humble and modest. Harry's is a well-known establishment in the market and uh, definitely well-deserved for um, all the different, I mean, you guys have won a bunch of different awards for the different uh, areas, right? Yeah, we've probably won a few awards. <laughs> yeah, yes. You know, we've been around, you know what, we like, we've been around a long time. Harry's has been around, uh, you know, the Vancouver area, you know, since the 40s so we've kind of grown um you know since pat and i've been here we've you know really grown the business um you know had the fortune of having really good people to come work with us we uh, you know we, we like to stay connected to our community um we you know take on responsibility of doing you know doing our best to do the right thing uh you know for our clients and um you know i've been a field technician for a very long time so i've grown in the industry you know being by being in the field and you know working that way, um, Pat's always been kind of in the shop and taking care of us from the inside out. And um, you know we uh, we work as a really good team. You know Pat's strengths. You know Pat has many good strengths, and you know his strengths are my weaknesses, and vice versa. So he's good at a lot of stuff, and I'm good at a lot of other stuff, and we really complement each other in that way. I think we we all are a little you know everybody in the industry is a little hardware nerd, and we all. You know, when you start out and then you still go on every door you go walk in, you uh, you judge it as you go in. Uh, look at that door. Uh, oh, yeah, that was a good install. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously, they we're not sure who they hired for that. Uh, boy, I sure hope it wasn't us. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, there's uh, we every door we uh, we survey it as we go through for sure. Well, we're going to be judging some doors today, so uh, get, get your judge stamps out. Get, get ready to uh, knock and slam on some doors. Um, for those who don't know how Unhinged works, um, I will share my screen and show you a door fell or install or code violation of some sort. We uh, knock and then we slam, we throw out our comments, and then we give it a knocking score, one being not too bad and 10 being pretty knocking bad. Um, I guess we've got Mia also here as well. Um, Mia, I'll let you introduce yourself and then I'll uh, jump into the first uh, picture. Yeah, Mia Merrill, product manager for Sergeant Corbin and Yale and uh, head door hardware nerd. I don't know. We need to come up with a <laughs> official title, but. Yeah. Okay, I will share my screen. Okay, so this, this one, I, I just recently got back from a vacation in Hawaii and um, this was a large uh, hotel chain. Um, this was a resort uh, just outside of Kona. And um, it, to put this in perspective, there's quite a few people that were staying at this hotel. And this was one of the emergency exits, as you can tell. Okay. What do you guys see? 
I see a menu on the front door there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on on the, the right side, it says these doors are currently closed out of order. Down at the bottom, it has underlined, in the case of an emergency, use this exit down the hall, not this one. <laughs> it <laughs> says, mahalo and thank you for your understanding, right? <laughs> so. And now I can see that. Okay. The thing I've yeah. noticed is it says aloha. And so are they saying hello or goodbye? Yeah. And I saw Mahalo in there as well. I guess if there's an emergency, it might be goodbye. Uh, yeah. You yeah. Might if be it's emer- this, uh, it doesn't say in the case of emergency, break glass. I yeah. Mean, in right. case of emergency, we have to really stop and read what to do uh, before we decide what we're going to do. Um, so that's kind of nice. It's very apologetic. It's, it's polite, but it's going to take you a second to read through that sign and you're not going to want to do that while you're panicking right well i mean being in the industry i don't know that i've ever seen a client actually or you know somebody go through the door actually read any of that shit so they're going out it anyway i mean i've been trampled over gone under pushed aside i can have as many cones and signs as i want it doesn't make a damn difference <laughs> i i tested the doors and they were locked shut so that <laughs> that wouldn't be good someone would trap would ignore the sign and walk right into it and then understand the sign <laughs> right so is there nose prints all over there? <laughs> yeah, I guess we could zoom in and see how many uh, face plants have happened. Yeah. I mean, they did they did do a good job of putting up cones. That's kind of nice. Yeah, they're giving them a heads up, you know, caution. Put on, be put on notice. There should at least be like arrow, some arrows, like bigger signage with like exit this way. Uh, definitely there should be something that, uh, that shows that these doors are out of order besides the little menu up front there. Uh, Hey, while you're going through the other exit, stop by the shaved ice and get a cherry flavored snow cone on your way out. Exactly. Yeah. It's a marketing ploy. That's, that's why they put this up here. Those doors are working fine. They just want people to buy more shaved ice. Yeah. It's it's called synergy, right? We call that in the business synergy when we are working with, you know, with your partner to help them, uh, you know, advance business. Yeah. It's like when they put those add on items right at the counter. Uh, um, so if, if you were an owner or what would be some of the liability that could come upon you for an exit like this? Life safety issue. For life safeties, for sure. Uh, uh, feel like they're locked in or locked out. Just walking through and the door's not opening and running into them. Well, it could be an, an eight, you know, obviously ADA issue. I mean, is there, you know, there's no access, you know, there's, it's obviously not accessible. Who knows what the other exits are like? Are they, you know, are they ADA accessible? And, and I can tell you, this was uh, one of the main exits and entrances to this resort. So this could have been their um, uh, ADA entrance. I don't see any auto operators and you don't re- you're necessarily need auto operators for an ADA um, entrance, but uh yeah, it could be an ADA violation. Right. I mean, obviously, yeah, you don't need to have an auto operator. They're called auto, you know, that's a big misnomer in the industry, right? They're called auto operators or automatics and not ADA operators. But yeah, especially with the new IBC uh, yeah, International Building Code uh, change for um, accessibility. I don't know if you guys are aware of that, but 60% of all public accesses have to have an auto operator on moving forward once that code is adopted by Vancouver. Yeah. Portland. Yeah, I've heard that's uh, I've heard that's coming down the pipe. Well, right now we just call it, you know, it's not ADA, you know, these are just it's accessibility issues. So right now we're just it's terminology at this point, you know. Yeah, I agree. Um, so if you guys were to give this a knocking score, one through ten, what would it be? I'm gonna give it a five. Five. Yeah. I, was, I was gonna say about a six or so. Yeah. It's it's not like anyone's life is in immediate danger yet but it could be. <laughs> right. And it's not like a bad, it's not from an, like an install or the door swings the wrong way. It's just obviously in need of repair. So it's really more about signage and direction and, you know, communication at this point. How about you, Mia? Knocking score? Yeah, I mean, if nothing's going wrong, it's low, but in the event that there's a fire, I think this is minimally a seven because if there's an emergency, it's big trouble because there's no clear indication unless, unless you did your own safety briefing prior to that happening. Uh, you're not going to stop and read this to find out where the next exit is. Yeah. So. Do they have like a daily muster meeting? 
<laughs> like a cruise. <laughs> yeah. um, no, I, I would I would agree with you. It's it's not terrible. There wasn't another emergency exit. They were trying to communicate, but at the same time, it is a life safety code, and you should get that fixed as soon as possible. And the way it looked, it's been uh, like this for quite some time. Um, okay, I'll. Uh, you guys ready for the next one? <laughs>